Hi guys, it's Shamsa and welcome back to my little kitchen. Today's recipe is one that I have been working on for such a long time and I finally mastered. I can now share with you how to make naan bread at home on a ceramic hob. Yes, these are so fluffy, so tasty and you're never going to buy shop-bought naans ever again once you've made these. But before that, if you're new and you've not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on and we're going to run through the ingredients quickly and then we'll start cooking. So the ingredients you're going to need is two cups which equates to 500 grams of plain flour. I've got oil here, we need two tablespoons of that. I've got a jug here with lukewarm water. I've got half a cup of Greek yogurt that I'm using today. You can use natural if you wish. I've got some salted butter just for garnishing purposes and I have one teaspoon of the following. Nigella seeds, which is also known as gulanji. I've got half a teaspoon of salt and baking powder, and I have one fourth of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. We also need dry flour for when we come to make our naan, so let's start cooking. Right, to prepare our naan dough, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dry ingredients and I'm gonna throw them into my flour, just like that. Just give that a mix, like that. And then I'm going to take my yogurt and add that in. And then add two tablespoons of oil. Two. And just use a spoon or a spatula just to bring all those ingredients together first of all and then add the water in and just bring all of that together and it will take approximately around maybe a cup of water I've just got some extra water there guys but obviously just make it as if you would make a normal chapati dough and then all you want to do is just want to bring it in like that okay so that's looking perfect and all you need to do now once that dough's come together is just take a little bit of extra oil and then just make sure you just bring it together one more time so the oil covers the entire dough just bring any dry dough around the edges to make sure that bowl's really nice and clean. Right, okay, so once your dough's come together really nicely and you can tell it's kind of like springy to the touch. So when you push down, it kind of like springs back up again and that's what you want. All you want to do is take a clean tea towel and just cover that and leave that to rest for 30 minutes, minimum 30 minutes. Right, okay guys, it's been 30 minutes that the dough's been resting. So it's now time to make the naan. And you can see it's really nice and soft. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some dry flour and just dust the surface and just take our dough and just place that on top. And we're gonna divide it into equal dough balls. Now you can make your naans however big, however small you want. I mean, if you want it to look like restaurant quality style ones, then obviously make them smaller. I just make them however big I want them to be honest. So I don't really do, um, you know anything small with my doubles and I'm just gonna shape them once I've cut them to size so I'm gonna make six naans out of these so just make sure they're quite equal like that and then just gently shape them like that so it's a nice decent size double there and then just place them on the side once you've shaped them. If it's if one seems a little bit smaller than the other, just take a little bit dough out of the other one. This honestly doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna pop the remaining ones onto a plate here just to move them to the side and work with one. Right, okay guys, so once you are ready to roll out your nouns, I've got here some plain water. Um, cold water in a jug and I've also melted my butter in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Right, 
all you're going to do is you're just going to roll this beautiful double into a noun shape so however you fancy whatever shape you want i mean normally you want sort of like an ovalish shape because that's what is served in restaurants here so just go for an oval shape but also remember the pan that you're using to cook um, your naan in so make sure you sort of like have that in mind before you start to sort of like roll um, your naan because you don't want it to not fit into your um, pans and at this point I will mention again do not use a non-stick pan for making naan because the next step is crucial and obviously that is what will help the naan to cook and stick so what we're going to do once we've rolled out our naan take your cold water and apply a nice layer onto your naan here like that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my camera over to show you how to cook this but basically it will be where my Tawa is nice and hot and I will pick my naan up like that and I will throw the wet side onto my tawa to cook so it's facing the tawa and I'm going to move my camera over now and show you guys exactly how that's done right okay guys I've got my tawa here it's on a high heat setting which is a nine for me and just to show you guys how hot this is see that's how hot it is and you want it really nice and hot so the technique that we're going to be using to cook our naan on a ceramic hob today is the indirect heat method so we're not using this surface we're going to turn it over like that as you can see it's really really hot and that's the reason why the naan sort of like dry out but we're going to use the back of it now to cook the naan okay so I'm going to get my naan that I've just placed water on that you've seen and here goes so just stick it straight on and leave that on there for about maybe just over a minute minute and a half and you can see that the bubbles have started to form and that's what you're looking for so just allow that to cook now on the bottom first of all and I'll show you what we need to do next but in the meantime just do move it around because obviously you want the heat to distribute evenly so I'm just going to move it to cook this area here my heat setting is still on a nine guys I've not changed it I'm just going to cook this side now so when you think more or less it's cooked all over evenly what we're going to do is we're just going to flip it over and this is the water this is the water acting like glue and we're going to make sure we sort of like you can you can put it down here and let it rest on your hob but you're just going to wait for it to come back on again and you're just going to sort of like move it around over that heat and you can see the steam coming out of it well i think you can but just move it around gently like that just to show you it started to sort of like cook the naan and you'll soon see the bubbles will start to appear now this is an arm workout guys you won't be going to the uh, gym straight after because if you're using a cast iron pan to cook with then this is quite heavy but honestly it's worth it definitely worth it so let me just show you now hold on just let's just get this on so you can see very light bubbles that are getting coloured beautifully there so just carry on doing that yes it's going to take some time but you know what you're going to have the most amazing homemade naans on a ceramic hob ever and there we are guys just close my hob now and that is your naan made on a ceramic hob and to remove this now is very very easy just grab a flat sort of like spatula spoon thing steel one and then just go straight under and you just gently sort of like work your way around if you leave it for a little while it will just automatically just sort of like loosen up a little so and there you have it guys absolutely gorgeous homemade naan on a ceramic hob just look at the back of that absolutely gorgeous and crispy just to finish this off all we're going to do is we're going to take some clarified butter and just apply some just on the top so it just gives it that really nice sort of like glaze and authentic restaurant style so I'm going to continue making all of mine and I'll show you how they look once they're done all ready for you guys oh my god I can't believe how wonderful they look and just have a look at the back of them fully cooked beautifully done there and just look at that so 
So guys, let me plate these up and show you guys exactly how they are. So there you have it guys, my wonderful naan bread all ready for me to tuck into. And I'm gonna try this now and tell you guys exactly how it is. Now, did you know they actually freeze really well? So all you need to do is if you make them and you've got a few extra left over, all you need to do is just pop them into Ziploc bags into the freezer and then take one or two out as you know as whenever you need one pop it into the microwave warm them up as normal and you've got a fantastic naan ready um, to eat with your curry but taste test here guys wow oh gosh that is absolutely gorgeous just on its own it's so delicious it's soft it's fluffy it's got lots of flavour coming through and that's exactly what you want. Mmm, absolutely wonderful. It's not heavy. It's not sort of like stodgy. I mean, I find the nans that I get from like the supermarkets, they are actually heavy and stodgy, but this is just wonderful. Mmm. Can't wait to just eat that with my curry. Guys, I hope you found the video helpful if you have then please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also turn your bell notifications on for all things cooking. I'll catch you with another video very soon. Till then, take care and happy eating.